A steady trickle of fugitives arrives on the banks of the river Congo after crossing from embattled Zaire. Many are foreigners trying to escape the rebel advance on Zaire's capital, Kinshasa. On the river itself, a clear sign of mounting tension as Belgian troops mount amphibious evacuation exercises. Should Kinshasa collapse into anarchy, they will carry the thousands of foreigners who remain in the Zairean capital to safety. More than 67 foreign military craft are on standby across the river border to assist. Zaire's rebels claim they are only two hours away from the capital. They're demanding that President Mobutu Sisi Siko surrender to avoid further bloodshed. But President Mobutu clings on, perhaps hoping for a compromise in last-ditch peace talks scheduled for Wednesday. After meeting top Zairean officials, the U.S. Ambassador Daniel Howard Simpson played down reports of a possible targeting of foreigners should the city fall. But when we were given uh, such a uh, firm, a categoric a warning uh, by an organization that we take very seriously, we felt that we needed to respond. Embassy staff have thus been reduced by a third. Meanwhile, Kinshasa watches and waits the eerie calm enforced by a government curfew.